think we're good. Yeah. Like I, what I was saying before. Kent State, yeah, Kent State takes the first point very quickly. Um, we're the commentators. Oh wait, they're the guys. they're the uh, viewers, Kathleen. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. All right. One zero. Yeah, Kent State's definitely a great team. Uh, after a couple seasons with their no, new it's not sort of. The ball's over. Huh? Oh, what the fuck? Stay ready. The what the heck? We don't know what we're talking about. But the important thing is that we're trying. Just like these players are trying their best. <laughs> oh, a little bit of controversy on the court. People are saying that Foyer got hit and that ball hit the ground yeah, before. Foss. Right? That's four. 16. 16. Nick Foss. That's Foss. Yeah. Nick Foss. Oh! <laughs> That was DJ Oldenburg who threw that. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they, they took that fast. Oh. They put him to sleep. Catherine, people are going to people are gonna watch the court six stream if you don't cut it out. No, that's not true. This is an electric game already. Oh wait, hold on. All right, well, that was quick. Um, what was that, eight minutes, seven minutes? Yeah, it was about, about eight minutes. So first point goes to Kat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, exci I'm excited to see what this Kent team does tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'd be, do you know what the record today is? Maryland 4-2. Okay. I do not know who they played otherwise. Okay. I'd be really shocked if Kent doesn't make the 16 team bracket tomorrow. Um, because where, where were they ranked before nationals? I think they were ranked like at least. I was gonna say at least 12. Definitely not below 12. Yeah. No, there's no rest. Yeah. So they would have to really throw it today to not make that bracket. Yeah. I think JMU notoriously is one of those teams that sort of like toward the end of a, t a tournament, they just kind of start to get relaxed. Yeah. Uh, Sunday of Nationals is really the one exception of that. Yeah. But we'll see what they'll do. If they if they go down this next point, just that 2-0 deficit, you know, might cause them just to kind of say screw it and let it play out. Yeah. But we'll see. Damn, you're not making plays like they made while we were playing. Trent, Trent really was going for that catch and the shoe fell off. A little okie doke action. A little okie doke action. Shout out Shadid. You ever hear this? Schaefer is getting ready to hit the okie doke. Oh, oh that, that hit him. Oh, yeah. That totally hit him. You call Mason. Isn't wasn't Florentine the kid that broke his arm, or is that that's number? Oh, that's number ten over there. Team broke his arm last year. Yeah, but I mean this year. This year was uh, Brandon. Oh yeah, Brandon Stevens was a huge, huge contributor to the team's early success. Um, Kent State, Kent State with Brandon Stevens bumps them up. 
Yeah. A whole tier, I'd say. I... But nonetheless, Kent is still doing great without him. Oh, no, definitely. Something hit, the ball hit the rafters, and I felt a little, uh, a little, a little piece of asbestos fall down <laughs> on me. Shout out Ohio State, just as I'm getting out of this decrepit place. You're going to leave me with a lifelong illness. <laughs> Ari left me with lifelong dead. Oh, down goes 27. Henderson. Man, one thing I've seen today is both, every single team today is just going balls to the wall. Like, so many wall balls. Not really a whole lot of counter action. Um, I can't speak for GV, MSU. I haven't really watched them. Uh, I watched Cincy earlier. Cincy played very aggressively all day. Um, but the rest of the teams here has just been sort of a lot of resets, kind of trying to play that fickle game between um, not putting your team down today but also not burning yourself out too much. Yeah, exactly. uh, no oh, way. I, no way. That sounded like a body part if you ask me, but I didn't see it. No, I, I, I wouldn't speculate. I'd get into it. I just genuinely didn't see it. It sounded a little uh, questionable. All. all I'm saying is when rubber hits rubber right here, it sounds like, Ow. not like, <laughs> not like. <laughs> Speaking of boom, down goes Foss. Oh boy, too easy. What are we doing here? Way uh, too easy. Number 99 on JMU is looking at him like, bruh. Who's that bring in? Number 26? Yup, I believe so. Uh, it looks clean to me, honestly, yeah. I kind of really wanted that, but it looked kind of clean. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. I mean, classic JMU move. Classic JMU. I, I feel like that's not out of the ordinary. You know what? They stay on. And he plays well, so. They literally slip on, so that kind of shocks me. I know. Speaking of shoes, I'm ready to toss these ones in the trash after this tournament. That bad? Oh my god, they're so terrible. Oh, great trade by Oldenburg. He goes to Adigan too. Great house holder. And, oh, his foot came up. His foot came up. Yup, he's out. Yup, absolutely. Yep. I'm not saying that influenced the ref, but I may have influenced the ref a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, but. Sometimes it takes a second to make the call. Sometimes it helps when it helps when. Sometimes it helps your little reassurance. Yeah. From someone else. All right, so 11:34 left in the first half. Cat two, JMU O. Oh. I don't know about you, Evan, but I'm hungry. Much like JMU is probably hungry for this next point. <laughs> You got nothing? <laughs> you got nothing after that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. I wish I had I wish I had headphones on so I could hear it that's <laughs> You hear that storm of ruin? <laughs> that's them Kent State flashes coming for the win. Take cover. Damn, I can't believe Kent won. 
Eleven to zero. I'm keeping tally marks on the paper because I, I really can't keep track of points. I'm I'm like the J.R. Smith of dodgeball. I never know the time. <laughs> Apparently we're tied, score. but I thought we were winning by two. I've done that on multiple occasions. Ugh. 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 So is life. Let's stay ready. Jam, you ready. Dodgeball. And we're off to the race here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you cannot do that. Who you cannot that? do that. Patrick Schwab. I should have known. No, Patrick Schwab's not a guy you want to underestimate with those catches. Uh-huh. Not really looked at for his arm, but man can, no, man, man can catch for real. He makes some crazy catches. And catching's just entirely like a mentality thing. Like, I don't know. I got good vision with my glasses on. Like, I see that ball coming. It's just entirely like knowing, knowing that it's coming. Oh, I heard something. That was oh, ooh, I, I heard something. Can you describe the sound again of when it hits a player? <laughs> yeah, a little clothing action, a little brush on the, the side. I don't know, it seems the tides are turning. The storm is coming from the other side now. Hmm. Trent looked at the there. Oh man. Oh, help me, help me, help me. I've never seen a tournament where so many spectators have gotten beamed by the balls. One thing that can be said about both these teams their special teams, their special players. They make special plays. They do, they're really special people. Getting some looks from some of our commentary. Maybe they just don't appreciate how special these people are. I like meeting colors there a lot. It's like all wrist. Yeah. Kind of sneaky. What's that one song that's like? What's that one song about, like, oh, come on, that got him, that got him. See ya. Ice on my wrist, pat something. I don't know. Oh, man, we got, we got some chirping. Clearly hit, dude. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, new paddock? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Maybe. Eight. New paddock ice on my wrist. I can't, I don't know how it goes. Um, it's a good game, though. I would say, uh, Jamie, you, oh, both these teams, honestly. Really good catchers. You can't just, like, throw solo and underestimate that. Catherine, yeah, how does it feel as a former buck to be playing a nationals tournament in your home gym? It feels special. It does feel special. Um, for my last national, it kind of just feels surreal. Like, yeah. to me, it doesn't really feel like nationals. Uh, no. A big part of nationals is that huge. Team bonding, driving four hours to the, some random little town yeah. to play dodgeball against 20 other schools. Yep. Um, you feel like you're coming and, into something versus like... Yeah, now that I'm hosting and I'm you know, sleeping in my own bed tonight, something about it just seems a little off. Something's a little weird about that, yeah. Stay ready! Damn, you ready! Dodgeball! I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll crash on Ethan Lemkul's couch just, just to feel something. Solid option. Just to feel something. Well, day two, you'll have to let us know how that goes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three, two, one, one. Right. Three, two, one, one. 
Oh, oh, I wish I saw that. I don't know what else I was looking at. How does this work? Oh, it's a different microphone. Oh. Inappropriate is and it violent. is it working? We're on the other one now. We got Sam Palumbo in the back. He's in the shot. He's Ooh. oh my goodness! Yeah, How many poor, times is that? This poor woman has gotten <laughs> hit. Poor sweet lady has gotten hit like seven times. No, but like actually though. <laughs> Ooh. This is a swing of momentum though, JMU. It is. This is what I was talking about earlier. JMU needing to really come back because if they're, they yeah. all seems if they're down, they just, you know, let it go. Especially at this point in the bracket where they're already in. I know. They're going to play in the bracket. Really, really different colors. Whether they're five teams or six teams. JMU's one of those teams that kind of like go down. Right. A double mic at no wait just one double mic up on off? a tuesday afternoon should we charge them we can take these off though all right evan's gonna keep the commentary going i plug in mics all right let's see what porter can do that's nathan keller who's porter um, I 16, swear, no, 16. I swear that's Keller. That, yes. Oh, yeah, no, that is Porter. My bad, what? Keller. That's Keller. All right, Keller, let's see what you can do here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, he's on the sideline. That's not a throw. I kind of feel like that would have been a ball's over. Well, game's over. Oh, well, pass. Over. All right, so we've got a great game so far. 2-1, Kent. Uh, Kent has the lead right now, but I, I feel like Jamie kind of has the momentum. They're the team with the better arms. They're the team with arguably the better catching ability. The only thing Kent State has on them right now is that they just came out hot. Jamie had to wake up a little bit, and I think now they're awake. What cue is this? Five? Tip. What? <laughs> no. -uh. I said, what cue is this? Tip. What? Q tip. <laughs> Wait, ask me again. <laughs> what cue is it? Cumber. <laughs> Evan, what cue is it? Coupon. <laughs> ask me again. QT. Coupon, cucumber. This is Q5, though. <laughs> That's what I was asking. Cute players, cute plays, cute teams. And cute players. All right. Players. I think this point right here decides the game. Whoever wins this point is, this, is winning the whole match. You're going to put your money on that? I will not put money on it because I can barely afford my rent right now. But I, I truly think this. I think that this point will lead into halftime. Yeah. Well, it will lead into halftime. Well, yeah, Whoever has momentum going hours. into half. Whoever has momentum going into the half uh -huh. is going to win this game. Okay. Even if Kent goes up 3-1. What if oh, it ends in a stalemate? Never mind. Huh? What if it ends in a stalemate? No, no one takes it. I don't know. I, the thing about JMU is they're one of those teams, like, there'll be six people left with one minute, and they just somehow manage to scrap. That's, we tried doing that earlier um, at the end of the first half against Miami. We subbed in a couple players. We tried to scrap to uh, get six players out in a minute, in two, like two minutes. And, yeah. you know, that's, that's really just not our game, I don't think. Nope. JMU absolutely is one of those teams that can just. Yeah. 
Make a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't, I don't think I used that right at you all. You said that though. <laughs> yeah. I did just say that. I think I totally used that wrong. They, they make lemonade out of lemons. They do. I love the sound of a ball being thrown. Oh, oh brother. Oh, catch. That's oh, not well. spear, is it? That's just a jersey. That's, no. All right, who's wearing the spear jersey? We don't know. 99? Is there no 99 on that? Nope. All right, well. We'll, we'll find out on, on half, during the half. Oh, I probably won't ask. I'll probably forget. I'll ask. I won't forget. So, next, or later tonight when JMU watches the film from this game, mm -hmm. and then they turn the audio of our voices off. Yeah, of course, of course. What song do you think they're going to put on instead? Ooh. Definitely playing some Finito. See, I always think no hands is a banger, but they got hands. Uh, good one. Did you see what happened in the OSU group chat? Nope. Oh my god, give me my phone, please. So, We got a request in the OSU Dodgeball group me, uh, like a couple days ago. Um, we our our page is on request to join, so you can't just join oh, the group me. You oh, have to yeah, request. Yeah, yeah. And we got two requests from Eli, Villarreal, and who is the other dude? Patrick Schwab. Yeah. And we sat on it. We were thinking about it. We weren't sure if we want them to join the game. And then after their L versus us, we added them. And then here's what we sent. What's good, boys? Hold this. Hold this L. And that picture of Lem and That's hilarious. Schaefer and what's his name? Oh, uh, someone is down on the court. Trainer? Um, Do you have, does someone have a radio? No. Chris has a radio. I Where's think, Chris? Right there. I don't want to take this off. Is it his arm? All right, we're pausing play for a minute for an injury. Oh. I can see it. I can see it. Real unfortunate play. Who is that? Number four? Yeah. My mic's on, yeah. Why, wow, what's up? It doesn't feel that good. I feel like we, we should have played a little better.
never point to mistakes, but I think overall he did pretty well winning that match. Jam used the match, I'd say, at okay, most part of our team. Number four, Hayden Fireball. I think we might be getting back into it. Looks um, like he's going to be out for the rest of the tournament. Very do you want to just sit down? One of, yeah, one of JMU's um, strongest players. But it's clear these guys are all close to, close to each other. Mm -hmm. They're all going to pick each other back up. And if anything, Play harder than they were before. They're going. I know. To I was going to say. I think they're going to try to take this in a minute. I, I think they're they're talking to each other right now. Like, let's not let yeah. this point go to waste. We're closing it out. Yep. We're going to shove some balls down some people's throats. Even if this ends in a stalemate, oh. though, I think they're. You can't say that. <laughs> um. <laughs> even if they sorry. Even if they don't take it, though, I think they take that momentum into the second half. I cannot. No way. Well, that's actually wild. That's so crazy. That's yeah. That's pretty. Okay. No, no comment. Um, All right. Oh, I never wrote the time that, I don't know what time we got the point, but JMU, point. I mean, I kind of made it my job. 126. I'll be right back. All right, they might just kind of take it into the half. So my prediction was wrong. Neither team closed us out. And we still got a good ball game, 2 1. I got Intel. Um, number 99 is, uh, is CJ Proman. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, number, number 99 was that. Uh, he's a junior, but it's first year playing, so rookie of this year. Yep. Maybe we'll see his name pop up on the rookie list, you know, as someone from the Ohio region. He's had um, some nice catches. It's tough to hear about the East Coast rookies. I don't really even know who they are. Um, everyone knows the Ohio and the Michigan names around here, but I couldn't tell you who Penn State's standout rookies are. I couldn't really tell you who JMU's standout rookies are. Um, but this is the tournament to find that out. Yep. And with that, end of the first half, 2-1 Kent State. Yep. Is there anyone you want to interview? Maybe someone from Kent since they got the lead? Um, Who do you think has had a good half? Maybe JJ Oldenburg? Maybe... Yeah, I would say JJ. Okay, yeah, let's talk to him. You got some questions for him? Wing it. You want him in front of the camera or you want me to bring him back here? Put on the camera. Right. We can go up there too. Hey JJ, can we interview you? You. Oh, sure. nice. I'm gonna give you that. Oh my god. Let's go, rookie. You're wait, you're a rookie, right? Yeah. All right. How close do I have to hold this thing? Just, just hold it. Up. It's, it's good. All right. So where am I looking? We have. It's halftime. We're not. Huh. Okay. All right, I'm here with freshman. A freshman or just rookie? Uh, rookie, rookie. I'm a rookie, sophomore. Okay, here with rookie, sophomore, 
I want to introduce JJ yourself. Oldenburg. JJ Oldenburg had a phenomenal first half. Um, what are you thinking so far um, for your first year playing dodgeball and your first nationals ever? Honestly, this has been great. Like this has been such like a surreal experience. Uh -huh. I like I couldn't imagine that dodgeball would get this like hype and like the type of community that it's around is just great. So I kind of love this. And what's your team's record today so far? Team's record is what one and one, yeah. one and one, one, and then now this game, Great. whatever that turns uh, out to be. So, what's your team's thoughts going into the second half and the rest of your game for today? Um, we just got to keep playing with the same intensity, the same level that we've been playing at this whole game. Uh, as long as we keep ball control and keep the intensity up, we're all good. All right, and a lot of people think that you guys are really one of those teams that can shock a lot of people tomorrow. Um, you're kind of slotted as one of those teams that might get out first, might slip through the first round, and maybe make it to the second. Um, but what do you think about potentially slipping through to the Elite Eight, um, maybe in a Final Four appearance? Um, do you think that that's possible for you guys at this point? Yeah, I think anything's Absolutely. possible. I mean, we play at a high level. Um, we just have hiccups here and there. I think players and coaches together, we can definitely make All a right. run. Love to see it. Yep. Get out there, JJ. Good luck in the second half. And that was JJ Oldenburg. Shield. Kent stand out if I do say so myself. I, I really think Kent State's one of those teams that, you know, um, their program has come from literal dust and Snug. little pieces. And they're one of those teams now that was Cincinnati a couple years ago, OSU a couple years ago. You know what you could say? They've made mountains out of molehills. They've made. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but no, I, I truly mean that. And even if a good amount of their team, like let's look at their roster. How many people on their team is graduating? I don't think that many. I don't think that many either. But even still, when you have a somewhat successful year, um, so Kruger, you're, you're able to take a lot of experience Keller, to your new players for next year. Tokes maybe. Lot. Um, and that's what makes a strong program. Yeah. That's kind of what happened with OSU. Our, my first year, led by Ben Johnson and Dylan Greer. Um, and Captain Mays, you know, we had we had some great success that year, but you know, we weren't really looked at as that team, you know. No. We weren't looked at like a Grand Valley or like a like oh, who was good that year? I don't even know. This is really Miami. Just, Miami. We weren't looked at like that, but Kent State. I wouldn't be shocked if in two years they're looked at like a powerhouse, in this, if not. I agree. If not just in the state, in the nation. I think too, like Kent is one of those like legacy type of teams, and they got a little shook up with oh. COVID. But some some people out here know this, but I work at Kent Kent alum Dan Shackelford's Pizza Shop. That's so true. Uh, yeah. And he loves talking about the glory days. You know, he he talks all the time about how back in the day Kent, like they were legit. Um, he led a really successful team. Um, they were a powerhouse. I think um, they've rebuilt that reputation. I, I think I'd love to see Kent make that return, you know? Yeah. Um, there's always at least a handful of Ohio schools that are really up there in, um, in skill. Yes. And Kent's, I think, the next... All right. All right. I don't know. What would you say? The next OU? Yeah. OU's good. the current OU. They'll still be the current OU. Yeah. 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 Crazy. Kent's going to be right up there with them, I think, next year. I think so, too. It's so hard to say because the Ohio region has such crazy talent. I know. That I don't even, I can't even. If you put. Oh, let's, let's see if the refs That's do awesome. anything about that. Nope, I, I, I probably would have, but. Did you see what he did with the ball? I did not. I think maybe it slipped into the neutral zone, but I don't know. So I think what happened was a JMU player kind of kicked it wrong on accident, and it rolled into the neutral zone, so Trent kicked it back to them, even though it was in play. Which, if you ask me... No, that's a mistake. I mean, what happened last tournament when I somehow threw the ball behind my back, and you know, I didn't mean to throw that. Yeah, everybody, if um, if you get bored of this stream, definitely check out War, OSU no, 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 in Nebraska. No, no, no. Nope. Get off! And I'll let you find a really cool play by Evan Utterback. Why are we talking about me? This is about JMU and It is, State. it is. We've been talking about Kent a lot. Why don't we talk about JMU a little bit? Yeah, it's just hard. Oh, Lord, Jesus. 
Oh, oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, there's, there's, there's not been a lot of screaming yet. That's a screamer right there. That was. Oh my God. Mike Bilzo. Bilzo. Mike Bilzo. Bilzo. That is standout player for Ted. Always giving 110 percent. You know what, parents and I were bringing back the name, the human highlight. The human highlight? Yeah, he is. What does that mean? He makes some of the craziest highlight plays. Oh, Bilzo? Yeah. He really does. And, you yes. know, just making a handful of those crazy plays every tournament, like, I know. Just elevates people's opinions and perspectives on you. Yep, absolutely. Because, in all honesty, he, he's still a developing player. Don't get me wrong, he's a great player. Yeah. But, um,. This you know, he's not not, not quite probably like any all Ohio list or anything like that, but he just makes these crazy all Ohio plays that yeah, stand know. out. You know, I wouldn't be shocked if next he's year he's only played he was on one year. List. Yeah, he's like is he a rookie or a, or a second year? Second year. Okay. Yeah, absolute hundred ten percent player. But that ceiling for growth is looks, like looks for those absolutely insane plays, and they're not insane plays against no, bad teams. They're so like, smart. He makes insane plays against. Teams like JMU, like uh -huh. same plays against teams like OSU. Like it's another kill by Bozo on JMU's best catcher, Foss. <laughs> you see that attitude? Look at that board. That sass walking forward. That's gotta be my favorite part of this. Play. Oh yeah, I, I love the attitude when people make a play and they walk forward like, yeah, I did that. I think that I almost that. like when you when you make the mistake, it almost feels like worse than getting smacked on the back. Oh, like yeah. just seeing that like standoffishness, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> JMU's gonna need something. Some major change up. I wanna put a hot mic on Nathan Keller while he's playing. Oh, we should have done that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. He said oh, he's like crazy. Up. What the heck? He's still alive! I've never seen that. No. That is he absolutely. He was getting charged up. Oh. And ran towards them and weaved in between. Honestly, high IQ play. It was what, I mean, high IQ. if someone's running at you, what are they gonna do if you run at them? No, they're gonna fine, be confused. Fine. See their pants. <laughs> be like, what the? Yeah, that's insane. That was so cool. I mean, I'm not saying that was the way to do it, but. All right, All right Jamie calls the time out, Jamie. out there. That's the right call. Get the Probably call. low on the clock too. I don't know whose water bottle this is, but it's been sitting here. I'm drinking it. Oh, wait, it is open. Whose water bottle is this? I took a sip of Lem's water bottle earlier, and he's like, whoa, whoa. Something? He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you putting your mouth on that? And I'm like, brother, how long have I known you? I kiss you on the lips, man. I don't care. It's a water bottle. He's like, waterfall it. OK. Oh, OK. OK, man. All right. What is this, seventh grade? Waterfall. Yo, Matt Thomas making an appearance. BG alone. Ooh. OSU. He I don't know. B he played like one year at BG. I think. Actually? I think he only played like one or two years at BG. Yeah. All I know is he started with gloves, and that's how you can determine someone's yep. age in this sport. Yep. You absolutely can see, will be seeing a post on the infamous Matt Thomas's inspirational Snapchat yes. story later. Oh, that's grounds. It was, but it was a really good play. It was smart. Oh, that's no throw. Nope. That's a hit. 44 has got to look for that play. You know, he's, yeah. he's frustrated, but, you know, got to go for it. 44. Someone, you're going to get hit by one of those, but try to get the other. 44. You know what? I give him benefit of the doubt. He's a rookie, but I would hope at this point. Hey, it's it's we're April. Looking for it's it. April. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's April. First nationals, but I think at this point. He'll get the next one. I, I got yeah. I got some hopes in him. He'll get the next one. 
So it is 3-1 Kent. Can we move our chairs out there? Yeah, we can move our chairs. I'm kind of sick of standing. Oh. We're going to stand. We're going to stand here. No, we're sitting here. Sit, sorry. You might want to stand. <laughs> Do you have any games left? Yes. All right, so what is it? 3-1, yeah. Cat. Wait, I'm taking this side. Yeah, 3-1, Cat. Yep. And we are Jamie's joined by really Mason make Smith. Something happen here. I, I, I got Jamie doing overtime. What, what, do you, what do you got to say about this game? No comment, no comment at this time. That's a good ref right there. I agree. That's a good ref right there. Stay unbiased. He's like, I ain't from Ohio, I ain't from the East Coast, I don't care about these teams. But he's still smiling, because he's a special guy. Everyone here is just so special. <laughs> all these teams, all, all these players, players the Rams, all these players. They're all so special. You know, I'll be honest, Evan, I'm a little nervous we're going to get absolutely beamed sitting here. Womp womp. Wow. Hey, that was that was the first point of sec Wow, that was a long point. Uh, 12 <laughs> minute point. Good block, good block. Let's let's call out some highlight players on JMU. Um, 100% Schwab. Oh yeah. That he's got to be one of the craziest catchers. That Schwab I've seen. is one of the most frustrating players to play against. Them yes. Because he'll be like one of three people left, and he doesn't have a ball, and it's like, okay, you team throw the person with no ball. We put two balls on him, he catches one, and he brings in JMU's yeah. best player. Like, it's just, it's always that case. Um, yes. And when we were playing them, we just were with uh, Foss. He had no ball, two other players had balls. We're not team throwing Foss. Yeah. We're getting the other two first. That way, we don't bring him up to four people. We bring him maybe up only to one more. Uh, it's just, it's tricky. Foss can't, is another good uh, can't throw at half these kids. Who else? Who else? Um... Personally, I think Householder is a, a really consistent player. Household name. Yeah. Household name, Householder. Uh, I see a lot, a lot of throws from Villarreal too. Yeah, very true. Great very leadership true. on the court, always talking. Yeah, keeping that middle presence. Middle, he's on the end. What? Villarreal, isn't that Eli That's right Householder. There? What am I talking? Who's Evan me? does not know any of these players. It's almost like he's never played them in his life. Oh wait, he's played them twice hey, in the past few months. He's also never lost to them too. Can't say the same. And I will. I must be facing them tomorrow. Eli's holding the yellow ball. Oh, that is Eli. Yes. Um. The other person I would uh, I would highlight on JMU is uh, Froyan. I don't see Florian on the court right now, but he's another really solid player. Who even is Florian? Like, what does it look like? Um, he's tallish. He um, he plays right side of the court. Oh. Uh, he's number twelve. Uh, I don't see him. I'll call him out. Oh wait, he's right there. He's wearing some nice Nike shoes. Oh, oh, that guy. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Did you hear that? They're making calls. Baseline brother. <laughs> Baseline brother. <laughs> My students tell me I look like uh, Sketch. What's his name? Sketch. <laughs> no, they don't. Do they yeah, they told me. They told me I look like him. Whoa! I'm not saying fucking scoot over! That sounded so Boston. Scoot over? No, it sounded British. That's fun. Yeah. I don't know. I think I just, Jim, you I, can I, take this point, though. I will say, though. Ooh, can't be doing that. If I'm Kent State, I would play a little bit more cautious because the more time you can waste off this clock right now, I agree, makes it easier to, you know, wait out the next point too. If, they lo if, they're steam, if they're losing steam, if they're losing steam, they should really try to just play safe. Yep. Um, especially when they're down players. I mean, I'm not saying next point not, oh, not play hot, but. 
Oh boy, here we go, turning on the tide. I take that back. Kent might take this point. I know, I was Let's just going to say. Do. I don't know if you saw over here, Trent but Schaefer hey, went they, for a catch one They shouldn't be too it. confident because and they JMU, one of their JMU plays very confident on their back line. I know they just stopped that catch right there. That is but, true, that is true. But hey, there's no team in this league I would rather not have on their back line than JMU. They're really good at just getting those catches and waiting. You know and, and just you like know that, what? they have I, yeah. six balls. It is so hard to know how some of these closer matches are going to go. And like, the score might say 3-1, but this has been such a back and forth. Who has control? Hey, uh, JMU can really mess some stuff up in the bracket because if they end up, if they lose two games today and they drop down to like a 10 seed and a team that's really not expecting to play a 10 seed in the second round plays JMU. That yeah. makes a harder day for that team. Yeah. And takes out Mitch Porter. That's Eli. How do you say it? Villarreal? Yeah, Villarreal. Oh, hey, and JMU takes the momentum right back. <laughs> they take the momentum right back. Despite that reaction, this line. is not a snoozer game. This is quite interesting. Oh my god. Give me that. Yep. He apologized. We're on a first name basis. Me and Mike are on a first name oh, yeah. basis. Yeah. First name basis? Yep. Yeah. I kind of think Kent might take this, and if they do, I think it's. You oh, think they'll out. take the point? I think they will. I know. Let's let's take it. I think, think I think they'll in. I think they'll drag it out till like four minutes. I don't think they'll take it though. Jamie's not coming out with a lot of steam. We'll see what they talk about in the huddle. That's what I, I think. Jamie's lost steam here, and right now they kind of have some momentum with yep. Florentine and Bilzo, Tokes. And I think what they need right now is a good pep talk from Eschenberg. He's probably off commentating somewhere now. I could have sworn he was up here. I think it's kind of obvious that they feel a little down. And whether that be because of the game specifically or their teammate who went out, um, I don't think, I don't know that JMU has the momentum right now. And we're back. I think I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one, Catherine. I think they're going to come out. That's fine. Get some quick kills. I would love if, to be if, wrong. If, if they don't close this out with enough time to win the next point, they're done. Oh, boy. And there's a cross oh, by Florentine. Yup, here it goes. Alright. That's fine. They're in this, they're gonna fight. If I'm JMU, I'm setting up a team throw right now. I don't know what's uh No way. No way. Oh that is so tough. They had the momentum. <laughs> Mason Smith's probably the nicest ref in the world. I know. I, I'd be, I'd be looking at him, yellow card. <laughs> hey. Oh. Worst things have been said. Yeah, worst things have been heard from the players. Yeah, yeah, from players. You see that Alden and Lem got yellow carded at the end of the line. Lem too. Yeah, because they, I guess they crossed over the line. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I, I don't guess, know if I agree with that. I mean, I would, we were on the front line when we won the game. Like, why is it a surprise? That, I don't yeah. know. I'm not going to talk about it. I respect the call. You know, it's one of those things. I don't know why they did not team throw there. Uh, oh, my God. Six minutes 
21 seconds on the clock, and JMU just got all the balls back. Oh, man. And I think that was kind of a little miscommunication there. But regardless, uh, you got you to gotta be ready to step up. Looks like Maryland just beat, uh, what school is that over there? Uh, UNL? Yeah. Who are they playing? Oh man, tough day for UNL. Tough. JMU tough ready! Day. Penn State ready! Dodgeball! Alright, JMU setting up some team throws. I'm pretty I think sure I missed all of those. I didn't hear any, you know? I think he, okay. Yep, okay, so Lapla goes out there on that team throw. So we got Jacob Florentine left for Kent. Ooh. Jacob Florentine is uh, a really good catcher though, and I'm not saying he can change the point necessarily, but when you're facing, you, you know, I mean, you're gonna catch it the 2v3. Oh, he oh, almost okay. had that. There we go. JMU's in this. They are. They got five minutes to tie it up. And that was a, two very long points. They were. All right. 5.35 left. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, we got one more game against Western Michigan after this. How do you think that's going to go? I think we could take it. We lost to Michigan State 4-0. We beat Georgia 8-0 and then called it. Oh, 4-0 against Michigan State? Yeah. Really? They were like decent points. Yeah. Honestly. How is the team looking for next year? For who? Well, it's uh, definitely more cohesive. Yeah? Yeah. How is uh, Antoine looking? I know he's one of the. Antoine's been cooking. Is Yo playing? Yo is playing. Yo is playing? How's he doing? Also cooking. Now, I won't comment on the quality of the meals they cook, ready. but. What they cook? <laughs> Yo! You know what? I think he wanted to make that catch, but... But if he went for the catch, then he's admitting that it hit him. Well, also, there were like... Oh, yeah, he would have got, got smashed. Yeah, he was going to go out regardless. All right, so JMU down balls Man, already. It's, it's going to be tough for JMU to come back. Um, without ball control at the start, that's really going to make, make some catches. For them. If I'm Kent, though, I'm setting up a team throw. Yeah, no... It's still going to be Kent because they just got their third. Well, never mind. I think I hear another storm coming. No way. Take cover, take cover. Head ref just apologized to spectators for standing in the way. That is how nice Mason Smith wow. is. We should all take from his example of how to be a, a head ref. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what I mean. Patrick is, Schwab is not the guy you want to yeah. slow out, at, out of anyone on that back. Line. He might be one of the most underestimated people in the league. I'll be oh, honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Why they're not doing team throws is beyond me, though. They have ball control. They easily Maybe that's could. why. Maybe they'd rather give up a catch than a uh, than ball, than control. ball control. Yeah, I mean, look at look at how aggressive they're fighting for that ball. They know that one, the second JMU gets ball control, this game might turn oh. turn for them. They just took out Schwab. Honestly, but I think really, someone got caught in. Maybe. Really heads up thought for Kent State to be on that and understand that. 
And Jamie it, It's not the necessarily cover. the men that they, they need to keep up, it's the balls. See that? Oh, Mike yep. Bills though? Fantastic Unreal. play by him. I wouldn't even say Bills Bills you know, has like that hard of a throwing. No! Up. He just knows how to get right up in that play. What Unexpectedly. Yeah, him too. Just very smart throws. Yeah. Like that. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Yeah, JMU is really going to have to make something happen to stay in this. Yep. One thing for sure though, JMU is going to eat the best tasting dinner tonight. If, not, if not them, if not them. You see, you know, Mama Engelman's cooking. Oh, she is. But hey, JMU usually goes out somewhere nice. They're just, you know what? That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. They usually have dinner reservations that the uh, captain's meeting leads into. That's amazing. Dude, MSU, OU. OU's up 3-2 with less than 10 minutes. Whoa. Hey, I love to hear that. MSU is definitely probably the, the fan least And a catch by oh Eli Villarreal? Who does that take out, Radigan? Two minutes. Two minutes left on the clock. He wanted to get that catch. You know, despite the fact that you could win this game making catches, I think JMU's got to play a little faster. Yep. They Kent State's not gonna make those mistakes. No, From they here, they're gonna play. The they're gonna play touches. smart. They're gonna try to play this point out. Yeah. Got a minute thirty left. Oldenburg's got to take that shot right there. Yeah, I don't know. Oh what he man. Is. Even if he ends up getting out by uh, Miller right there. Oh man. <laughs> you see what he did? Hopefully uh, no one saw that. On their team? Yeah. No, I didn't. Tell it's worse. I, I'll say it's worse than what Ski did last weekend. Oh. The other weekend. Same, same category of celebration. A little bit m less PG. I don't think either are PG, but. Oh man, take a shot. No way. You can't be doing that. 50 seconds. Hey, Schwab's back in too. All right, this is where I would say, as a player, I'm going to stop whipping balls because it really sucked to get hurt yeah. in this last pointless minute. Oh, boy. Yeah, if I'm that, I'd I play this out. Despite the fact that he just threw a catch, Pendleton is, like, also a really good player. And you saw how hard he was throwing there, yeah. like. I think this is uh this is it. Gonna take that tray. And just like Holy sh wait a minute. Three players. They took it to two players. You see that? Alright, so where's their yellow card, huh? That's what we did. I didn't even see that. Well, actually, no. No, no, no. We crossed that one. All right. Hey, great, great, great game that by was a both great of these game. teams. You know, JMU never gave up. They uh, went against what I was saying that they usually do. Um, I they think they were kind time, of the... Kent State really, really good through. Yeah, I think Kent was kind of the underdog or anticipated oh, yeah, underdog in course. that match. So that's really... Just a, a great feat there. I think that's the theme of Kent State all year. They're the perceived underdog in every situation. But yes. honestly, they can beat any team in this league if they I have know. good plays. They have special plays, special teams, special players. You're so right. If they're cooking, they can beat any team in this league. I really mean that. I know. I really, really mean that. I think you're right. Wow. What a game. Yep. All right, so three, two. I got to head out. On to my last match. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you at the next one. Hit him with the old Irish goodbye. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not signing out.
and we actually switched from that design where everything was uh, handled locally on the device, like there was no updating information, to in December, or when we're break, we switched to the uh, Someone moving the camera. Hey, nice. Dean, I can do it. Yeah, just for their sake. You're just, you're rapping, right? Yeah, I'm the assistant. Go, go! 
I don't know how to change these overlays. Sign up to volunteer, so I just know how to move a camera. Yeah, that's all they need. I don't know how to switch the overlays. Up again. Hey, get one back. Somebody off the wall. Three, two, one. Twelve, you're out. Sixteen forty, sixteen thirty eight.
Yeah, I'm, I figured out how to update. So is it 1-0 Penn State? Yep. Okay. And it's also tracked on the app. I'm, u I'm using the app for it too. Yo. Everything good here with you? Yeah. This one well? Yeah. Work. Alright, I'm gonna go check on Mike for a while. They're gonna be running after halftime, but it was UIUC kids on first part, so Okay, they they figured out how to switch it. I Between halves, halves, okay. I, they, I already had them set up the time. It's okay. Just, you, know, you change the time. Yeah. Just update until it's uh -huh. Yeah, the reason this didn't work earlier, I forgot to put the correct credentials on it. Yeah. Do you want to just double check this one is set up for port? I'm going to go check okay. on mine. Um, I can do that on your computer after. Port to or this. practice. Leave, leave this right here. I will come back and do it. Practice with. With the credentials of that one, because that one's been the most consistent for a shot clocking.
Stop hitting the tripod.
time you got Oh, uh, let's see. Got that on film. <laughs> you keeping the truck at the time? Yeah. Okay. There's two. That, that one turned off. Yeah. It's still going on the main thing. Oh, okay. Just my phone went to sleep. Yeah. 
Less than two minutes. Put it on that case, right? Which is number two. Oh, I'll what she said. I feel like we're not doing it. No, no. Honestly, we're not using this. Oh, I, I think you're, you're the wrong person. This is for two, right? Yeah. Have that other SD card there. Yep. We can pop that over.
next time. this for a little bit I gotta go get a water and then on here if like a timeout occurs you literally just click this button okay it brings up a little UI select you took the timeout and endpoint similar fashion Been like that. Yo, yo, uh, top court, Penn State, BS. I'm standing. I just went downstairs to get a water. Oh. 
I'm going to test the SD card. Oh, is that court done? Yes. Gotcha. Over there is done. It's already back. Plug it, test. Gotcha. That was bad. Official timeout for balls over. Oh shoot, my bad. Literally survived forty seconds. Survived forty seconds, coach. Thirty-five. Three, two, one. Yeah. Good, coach. Nice. Oh. Twenty seconds. 
seconds, Josh, please. Yeah. That's money, dude. Yes, Adam. That's money. That's money. <laughs> I just want to mark that it was balls over for the data.